The following is an instructional video for the Equalizer tree stand. This video is designed to help you safely use and operate the stand during your next hunt. Follow the instructions carefully and don't forget to use the enclosed printed instructions for additional guidance. We want to remind you that the Equalizer tree stand has a maximum capacity of 300 pounds. It should be placed on trees no smaller than 8 inches in diameter and no larger than 20 inches in diameter. We strongly recommend that you practice setting up your equalizer at a level of 6 feet or less and learn how to safely make the adjustments before actually taking it on your first hunting trip. This way you will know how to properly and safely use the stand before you ever leave home. And remember, do not attempt to assemble this tree stand or use it in any way or actually try to climb anything while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Improperly using the equalizer without practicing beforehand and following all the instructions in this video could result in injury or death. So please take your time and learn how to use the equalizer safely. Before you go hunting with your equalizer tree stand, there are some important safety items you will need to learn and follow. First, take your boxed stand into a garage or workshop area to begin the assembly process. Since there are several small and important parts involved in the assembly of the equalizer, we recommend that you not make this assembly in the woods or on the tailgate of your truck. Start the assembly of the equalizer by first removing it from the box. The opening is on the side. Now remove the large plastic covering from the stand and cut the packing strap away. Pull out the waterproof mossy oak seat cushion or seat hammock depending on what you ordered. If you have a movable seat cushion Make sure there are two rubber seat fasteners, like these, on the bottom of the cushion. Next, remove the content of the small box that contains all the hardware that you will need for the assembly. Now, look on the right side of the two stand sections. Inside the stand's eccentric guides, you should find two individual plastic cable silencers that are connected to the stand by small ropes. Now notice how the two parts are nested together, with the seat part sitting on top of the foot section. You need to remember this later when you are reassembling the stand for backpacking. Remove the cardboard shipping protector and separate the two parts. In the next step, Visually inspect every aspect of your stand, including the cables and the full circumference welding. Inspect all welds to make sure they weren't somehow damaged or cracked during shipping. If you find a problem, please call us immediately at area code 910-251-0411 here at Equalizer Customer Service and we will be glad to assist you. After inspecting the stand, take everything out of the hardware kit. You should find written instructions, two handles for the gearboxes on the stand. You should also find a set of padded backpacking straps. Then you should find the clamps, straps, and hardware that make up the positive locking system. The hardware includes two carriage bolts, two nylon washers and two locking nuts. And last, you should find an easy cinch that has two hooks and a locking cam, which you will use to hold the stand together while backpacking. Begin assembling the equalizer by first adding the backpacking straps to the foot part of the stand. Turn the section over on its back with the bottom up. Lay the V-shaped strap that will go across your shoulders at the end of the stand away from the cables. The two other straps should be laid down the side to eventually be connected to the stand. Inspect each strap and make sure each one has a small nylon loop at the end. 
These loops will connect each strap to the stand. Now attach the two side straps to the main crossbar by slipping the loop around the cross member under the side brace support then pulling the strap back through like this. Now go to the other side and install the second side strap to the stand the very same way. Now at the back of the stand we're going to install the shoulder strap. Begin by finding the second cross member. Slip the harness loop underneath and bring it back through. Take the two buckles of the strap and slip them through the small loop and pull the rest of the strap through. Now connect the left V-strap buckle to the left side strap. Pull the strap through the center of the buckle, then fold it down and run it back through the buckle like this. Afterwards you will see how the strap lies properly in the buckle which will allow the quick release buckles to work properly. Now go to the other side and do the same on the right quick release buckle and the right side strap. Afterwards make sure the quick release buckles are working properly before proceeding to the next step. Now turn the foot part over and begin installing the positive locking system. Later you will need a 7 16 or an 11 millimeter wrench to make this installation. Begin the installation by taking the buckled end of one nylon strap and running it through the eye of the eccentric guide on the foot section. Double the strap back and slip it through the top of the buckle like this and finally down the other side of the buckle. When you get through, the strap should be locked into place on the guide like this. Now go over to the other side and install the second strap securely in the eye above the gearbox so that both straps are now firmly connected to the foot section of the stand. Now move over to the seat part of the stand. Pick up this section and you will see a half moon extrusion on the bottom side of the seat section. This extrusion contains a square hole. This is where the positive locking system's clamps are to be connected. Begin the installation by slipping one of the carriage bolts into the square hole from the inside out. That will allow the bolt to create a smooth surface on the inside of the stand. Put a nylon washer over the bolt followed by a clamp and then add one of the nylon locking nuts to it. Tighten the locking nut with your 7 16 standard wrench or an 11 millimeter wrench until it is just tight enough to give some resistance to the clamp so that it won't spin freely or rattle. Now go to the other side and slip your second carriage bolt into the extended extrusion from the inside out. Add the last nylon washer followed by the clamp then the locking nut. Again tighten until everything is snugged up so the clamp can be moved but not swing freely. Now we're going to install the handles on the cable gearbox cable. We'll want to install the first cranking handle on the foot part of the stand and you will want to put it on the inside of the gearbox for backpacking. Later, if you want to move it to the outside of the stand once you are hunting, then you can do so. Begin the process by removing the stainless steel Phillips head screw and the washer on the end of the handle. Insert the handle on the inside of the gearbox then add the screw and the washer to hold it in place. Now turn the handle 
counterclockwise until the cable is extended all the way out. Next, go to the seat section and install the second handle on the outside of its gearbox. This is very important. If the handles are not in the right positions, the two sections will not nest together for backpacking. After the second handle is installed, again crank the cable so that it is extended all the way out. Now let's work on the cable connections. First, on the seat part. Remove the rubber cable silencer from the eccentric guide and slide the cable into the guide like this. Grab the knob on top of the swift lock and pull it down to the bottom two holes of the channel. Slip the lock into the two holes, then pull it back to lock it into place. Tighten the lock down, which should take about five turns of the knob. Now, with the cable properly placed in the eccentric guide and in its guide channel, return the cable silencer to its original position in the guide. Next, go back to the foot part of your stand and install the cable into place the very same way. Afterwards, bring in the seat cushion and remove its plastic cover. Put the seat cushion on the seat frame with the tab on the bottom sliding under the frame. Reach under the seat and pull out the rubber straps. Fasten them on the locking post on the sides. Your seat should now be securely connected to the frame. Now return to the back of the stand and roll up the straps for the positive locking system. When each is in a roll, slide each strap under one of the two elastic foot straps in between the cross members of the foot section. This will keep them out of the way when you eventually get the stand in its backpacking position. Next, find your Easy Cinch tie rope. Notice there are hooks at each end, which will be connected to lock the two sections of the stand together for backpacking. You will need to extend the rope out about five feet. To get it to extend, simply put your thumb in the cam lock inside the easy cinch and push down and hold it. Now pull the rope out as far as you can then lay it down. Carefully pick up the foot part and lay it over the easy cinch rope with the backpacking straps resting on either side. Now pick up the seat part and gently slip it over the foot section so that one is nested on the other. Notice that the handles on the left side of each section have one handle located inside and one handle located on the outside of the stand. This tells you everything has been packed properly. If for some reason you feel that you have to force the stand sections together then they aren't assembled properly. Now lean over to the side of your stand and connect the two hooks of the easy cinch rope together. Slide the cam mechanism up toward the seat cushion and tighten it so that it will be off the platform and won't make noise later. Roll up the easy cinch rope and slip it under the elastic foot straps on the platform. This keeps it secure while walking. Slowly pick up the stand by the cushioned end and slide a backpacking strap over your shoulder trying to be as quiet as possible. Then slip the second backpacking strap over the other shoulder. Once the straps are in place, lean over slightly. 
Then, with both hands, pull downward on the backpacking straps until the stand is tied up against your body and up between your shoulder blades. Walk around a little bit to get used to the feel of the stand on your back. Now, to put the stand down, reach up with your hands and release the quick release buckles with both hands at the same time. The stand will slide down your back. Finally, slip the stand off your shoulders onto the ground. When you get to your tree, which should be no smaller than 8 inches in diameter and no larger than 20 inches in diameter, take a close and careful look at the tree. Make sure that it is fairly straight without any major curves or bends. Next, take your stand off by lifting the release buckles and quietly lowering the stand to the ground. Disconnect the easy cinch by pushing your thumb downward on the cam and loosening the rope. Put the easy cinch and the rope in your pocket. Then quietly separate the two parts of the stand. Pick up the foot part and with your right hand pull the cable silencer loose from the eccentric guide. Unscrew the swift lock connector and pull the cable loose. Now with the stand in your left hand swing the cable around the back of the tree. Slide the cable through the eccentric guide once it is near level. Lock the cable into place with the swift lock and tighten it down. Next, return the cable silencer to its position over the cable. Again, make sure you have extended your cable carrier all the way out before putting it on the tree. Next, pick up the seat part. Pull out the cable silencer and loosen the cable at the swift lock. With the seat section above the foot section, quietly swing the cable around the tree. Slip the cable through the eccentric guide, hold the stand into place, and level it. Now pull the cable down the channel and lock it into place. Replace the cable silencers. Both sections should now be sitting fairly level. The next step is to take the positive locking system strap on the left side and run it through the locking clamp from the inside out. Leave yourself enough slack in the strap to be able to climb with it in place. Now go over to the right side of the stand and take the strap of the positive locking system on this side and slip it through the locking clamp also from the inside out. Again, leave enough slack to be able to climb. These straps now act as safety tie lines that keep the two parts of the stand connected together while you're climbing and sitting. These two lines are extremely important safety features that should not be overlooked under any circumstances. And always use both straps when climbing. If you are hunting with a gun or bow, do not attempt to climb or descend a tree with either on board the stand. You will want to leave your unloaded weapon on the ground while climbing. Then pull it up once you've got your stand locked into place with a safe weapon hoist. This is very important. Again, never climb or descend a tree with the equalizer while carrying any kind of weapon on board. Next, attach your safety harness to the tree like this. Make sure the tether is at least six inches away from the buckle of the tree belt. Move it up or down in such a way as not to be too close to the stand nor too far up on the tree. Now to begin climbing in your stand we recommend you slightly offset the seat section from the foot section like this. Quietly step on to the foot platform then over and into the seat climber like this. 
Then move the seat back under you and sit down. Stop for a moment and get familiar with the feeling of the stand and wearing your safety harness. Next, stand up and pick up the seat part with both hands and lift it up until the seat is just above mid-thigh. Move the front of the seat part upward until the cables rest on the back of the tree. Then put the blade system against the front of the tree and slowly sit down. It's that simple. Now it's time to raise the foot platform. There are two ways to do this. First, you can use the elastic foot straps built into the platform. You do so by simply reaching down and pulling each strap over your boots like this. If you have small feet, you can split the foot straps and put one each over the top of your feet and then the second one behind your heel for more support. Or you can simply slip your boots out and under the side frame of the foot section like this and use this position for lifting leverage. For demonstration purposes we will be using the latter method. Begin this process by putting both feet under the cable channels on the foot part of the stand. Slowly tilt the foot platform downward in the front which will release it from the tree. Now pull your legs up and draw the foot section up underneath you. Lift the front until the cable rests on the back of the tree like this. Now slowly stand up to lock the blade system onto the front of the tree. To continue climbing, pick up the seat section and raise it again to mid-thigh and sit down. With your feet in the proper position, slowly raise the foot platform underneath you again and put it down like so. Then reach above you and slip your full body harness tether line further up the tree ahead of you as you climb. Remember, while practicing, be sure to climb no more than six feet up the tree. Now let's show you again. If your stand should begin to get off level as you go higher, it is very simple to adjust it back to the level position. Begin the leveling process by first standing up and taking your weight off the seat part of the stand. Gently crank the cable gearbox handle, tightening the cable until the stand section is again level or slightly above level. Now sit down. Do not crank the cable gearbox handle while there is weight on your stand. It is designed to lift the weight of the stand, not the weight of a person. To level the foot part, pull your positive locking system straps tight on both sides of the seat section. Then take as much weight off the foot section as you can. Lean over and crank the cable gearbox handle until the stand is level again or slightly above level. Once you are level, then loosen the straps on the positive locking system before continuing to climb. Remember, take all your weight off the stand section before making this adjustment. That is the only way it will work properly. Here is an optional way to adjust the foot platform that you might find more comfortable. Begin by standing up and offset your seat part to the left like this and sit down on your seat part. Then for your safety, lock your stand to the tree with your positive locking system. Carefully put your left foot off the stand and move your right foot towards the front of the stand close to the tree to minimize the weight. Place your left hand on the left channel bar of the seat part. And with your right hand, Carefully reach down and crank the handle to level the platform. When you are level, return your left foot to the platform. 
Unlock the positive locking straps. Stand up and move your seat part back to its original position. And make sure you are level. Now there's a third position for leveling your foot part of the stand that might make it easier with the handle on the outside of the platform. First, lock the stand to the tree using the positive locking straps. Move both feet towards the front of the tree to minimize weight. Place your right hand on the tree and with your left hand reach down and crank the handle to level the platform. When you are level, bring your feet back to their original position. Once you get into your hunting position, make sure that you are level. Then sit down and begin putting the positive locking system into place. You do this by quietly opening the PLS clamp on the left side of your stand and pulling the loose strap through it until it is tight. Now go over to the other side and quietly pull the right strap until it too is tight. This should lock the two stand sections firmly together and should eliminate any left or right flexing motions on the stand. Now slide the safety tether up the tree above you again. Now you should be comfortably and safely situated in your tree at the hunting level you desire. To make other adjustments to the equalizer that might make your long day a little more comfortable, you can easily adjust the seat cushion to any of three positions. The climbing position will have you facing the tree, but if you would like to sit with your back to the tree, simply stand up in the equalizer, turn around towards the cushion, Unhook the rubber seat fasteners on each side. Pick up the cushion, turn around again, and place it on the frame next to the tree. Then you can gently sit down on the cushion with your back to the tree. Slide the cushion forward or backwards to get your comfort level right. Then snap the rubber straps back into place to make it secure. If you prefer to stand while hunting, you can put the cushion into the leaning position. Simply stand up, turn around to again loosen the rubber straps on the side. Lift the cushion upward and place it on the upper frame on top of the cables and cable channel next to the cable guides. Then hook the seat fasteners around the back side of the outer post and then onto the cushion. The leaning position will give you more room in the stand. Now it is time to safely pull your unloaded weapon up into the stand using your weapon hoist. To descend the tree, simply reverse the climbing order, but don't be in a hurry, even if you've just made a great shot. When you are actively hunting, now would be the time to safely begin lowering your unloaded weapon to the ground with your weapon hoist. Be sure to take your time and do this very carefully. Afterwards, stand up and put the seat cushion back in the climbing position. Then lock it into place. Lower the tether strap down the tree until it is about chest level. Then sit down. Reach over and release the positive locking system straps from the clamp and pull enough strap loose to climb down the tree. Loosen both sides. 
do not disconnect these straps. They could be a lifesaver if you should, for some reason, ever drop the foot section. Now stand up and grab both sides of the seat part. Pull it upwards until it loosens from the tree. Then lower it until it is just over the foot platform. Rest the cable on the back of the tree and the blade system on the front of the tree. Securely sit down. Next, while securely sitting on the cushion, put your feet in the climbing position. Slowly lift up the back of the foot part, which should loosen it from the tree. Once it is free, tilt your toes downward to lower the foot section down the tree. When you've gone just far enough, push down on the foot section with your heels. Now, slowly stand up on the foot platform again. Continue this action until you are safely on the ground, moving your safety tether with you as you go. As you descend, you may need to reverse your equalizer adjustments to get back to the level position. Don't forget to start the leveling process by taking your weight off each part of the stand as you are leveling it. This will prevent your stand from having an uncomfortable angle as you are climbing down. Once you get to the base of the tree, set the seat part off to the left or right side, and then step out of the seat part onto the foot part. Then carefully step onto the ground. Move over to the tree and disconnect your safety harness from the tree. Now take this stand off the tree and repack it into the backpacking position. Again, we recommend you practice setting up the equalizer tree stand several times in your own backyard and climbing up and down no more than six feet until it becomes completely second nature. Remember each step of the process and don't try to shortcut anything or it could create a dangerous situation that could end in death or permanent injury. Now let's go over what we have learned one more time. When you take your stand out of the box, inspect it carefully. Assemble your stand by putting on the backpacking straps first, then the positive locking system, then the handles for the cable cranking mechanism, and extend the cables all the way out before locking them into place. Afterward, nest the section together and connect with the easy cinch rope and pull tight. Unpack the safety harness and learn how to put it on. And remember to put it on over any clothes you plan to wear on hunting day. When you get to your special tree, unpack the stand. Put the foot section level on the tree first and then put the seat section on the tree above it. Attach your safety harness to the tree. Offset your stand then step on and into the stand. Begin slowly climbing while pushing the safety harness up the tree as you go. If you need to adjust the stand again to level, do so only without any weight on that part of the stand that you're adjusting. Once in the perfect spot, tighten the positive locking system in place. Move your seat if you want and lock it down. At the end of your hunt, simply reverse the process until you are safely on the ground. Here are some safety tips you might consider when hunting this season. Always tell someone where you are hunting and when you expect to return. Always take a cell phone or two-way with you while hunting in case of an emergency. Make sure your batteries are completely charged. If you have any questions about using the equalizer tree stand, we want to hear from you. 
you can call us at 1-910-251-0411. If you can't get us on the phone, leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks again for hunting with the Equalizer.